And we are following new developments in a Menasha cold case. 17-year-old Don Schnetzer was murdered back in 1978. The killer was never brought to justice. Now, the murder case grew cold as those years passed, but now new technology is giving detectives hope. NBC 26's Raquel Lamel joins us live in the Green Bay newsroom with a story. Cassandra, police are not giving up on this case despite how long it's gone unsolved. In fact, they're hoping to get some answers using DNA. Dennis De Bruin has owned a business on Broad Street for 15 years, working just half a block away from where Schnetzer went missing. People every now and then will say something, they're just out of the blue. De Bruin says even though the case is nearly 40 years old, neighbors haven't forgotten what happened. It was talked about when this guy from Nina went missing, you know, oh yeah, or what, like when somebody goes missing, it kind of triggers a pattern. Police now sending DNA samples from the crime scene to the FBI, hoping to get some answers. I think it's hopeful for all cold investigations that departments have because they can take a new look at information that maybe um, you know we've had for a long time. But officers say as this case grows older, DNA becomes harder to work with. DNA degrades over time. That's why officers say time is crucial, but they're also relying on people who live in the area and may have seen or heard what happened to come forward and help close this case. Now, officers say they are following several leads in this case, but if anyone's seen or heard anything, they're being asked to come forward and let officers know because they say no amount of information is too small or insignificant to help in this case. Live in the Green Bay Newsroom, Raquel Amell, NBC 26.